On caster sensor replacement, the first thing you want to do is remove the shroud that comes up the caster arm. Be two Phillips head screws. And then also remove the back side as well. Back shroud will have to be re removed in order to access the plug where the caster sensor is plugged into. Pull out the cable, disconnect or follow the to the caster sensor, press and disconnect. Next, remove the two Phillips head screws, one on the outside, one on the inside. And remove the top cap. So this right here will be your caster sensor. The caster sensor maintains the stability of the forefront. To remove the caster sensor, there are four three millimeter Allen head screws that hold the sensor in place. Remove each screw. Then remove the caster sensor. And then you will need to clip the wire tie that holds it into place. Remove the front battery door by, by, pull it, by pulling towards the center these two tabs door comes right off. And batteries don't, don't have to be completely removed. They only have to be moved forward approximately an inch to allow the cable to be fed back through. So we grab our little tab, pull our, we pull our battery forward. Feed the cable through. We have to pull up a little bit on that cable to actually get it through. And that should come right through, right by the motor. And then with your new caster sensor, feed the wire first. Make it easier. So we're going right into this little cutout. Pull the cable. You want to zip tie back to the caster arm. Then we take our connector and we plug it back in. Tuck the excess wiring inside the tray underneath the power module. Now we replace the four three millimeter screws. We replace the cap back on. And replace the Phillips head screws. Next, we're going to replace shrouding, making sure that there is no access to that wiring. Then, we're going to put the back shroud back on, retightening up our thumb screws. Push the batteries back in. Replace our front door. And lock back into position. Because the sensor was replaced, the sensor has to be recalibrated to our Keylogic 3 system. So the first thing you want to do is your caster alignment tool. Caster alignment tool is, or, is available through tech service when a caster sensor is ordered for replacement. It simply goes up over the caster and locks into place. The caster sensor is designed during calibration to keep the wheel in perfect alignment while, while the calibration is happening. So we are going to go down to our system on our Econ W and we're going to click on stability control. We're going to scroll down to stability control calibration and we're going to press start. Left caster wheel, it says left caster wheel must be align exactly aligned for straightforward driving. And then it says save caster wheel position, we click yes. The right caster, so we're going to remove this, the same, the tool. And we're going to put it on the right caster. And then once it goes to the right caster, the wheel must be exactly aligned for straightforward driving. Save the position. We click yes. 
and the calibration is complete for, at that point.